Hi everyone and welcome back to Octopus Builds where we are building out the Trident project for the fictional company Octopet Shop. Now in the previous episode we set up a bunch of teams such as DBAs, developers, QA, and our web admins. And we gave them various permissions to either deploy or to manage the deployment process and uh, so on and so forth. Now, the QA team has been talking to us and they came up with a rather interesting problem. Because developers, they do have those permissions. Let's go back to, let's take a look at what the developers can do. So developers, they do have permissions to go ahead and deploy to QA. Now, one of the some of the feedback that we've been getting from our QA team is they said that they want to have a bit more control over the QA environment. Specifically, they want to have predictable uh, deployments, and they want to have a predictable time when that happens. Because what ends up happening is is the developers what they've been doing is they've been constantly deploying up to QA. Um, so imagine this scenario where. The developer they check in something and they just go ahead and they just push it right up to QA without doing any sort of testing and then another developer they come in and they create a new release and they're going to deploy to dev and then shortly after this they will go ahead and they will deploy up to QA and so you have this constant churn you have this kind of very unstable it makes it very very unstable uh, and that's not something that QA likes. They don't want to have the rug to be. They don't want to have the rug pulled out from underneath uh, every five minutes, every ten minutes, or so on. And this is actually fairly common, especially if you have a situation where you where someone has automated the QA deployments specifically right after they deployed a dev. Uh, so, like a, a common example would be. Uh, a build server automatically promotes to development and then soon after they promote to development then it will go ahead and it will uh, then run a series of maybe some integration tests or some smoke tests or anything like that and assuming everything looks good then it will go ahead and automatically promote up to QA and again QA doesn't really necessarily like that they like to have stability because they want to make sure you know any sort of automated tests that they're running they're fairly confident they're going to pass and the system doesn't pull the rug out from underneath them so what we're going to want to do is, I don't know why this is taking so long. Oh, there we go. We're acquiring the, the dynamic workers. I've left this to sit for too long. So what we're going to do is let's solve for that. Let's make it very predictable as to when a deployment will get promoted up to QA. Now, we could do a couple of things. We could revoke the developer's access to promote to QA. I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, I think that that should still be allowed in uh, for very rare cases, but we also want to make sure that we set everyone up for success. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be jumping into the triggers section and we're going to be adding in a scheduled trigger. And what we're going to say is let's promote to QA morning. Trigger to automatically promote up to QA from dev every morning. And so, you know, in talking with the QA folks, what they would like to have is they'd like to be able to promote up to, the, they will, basically every day when they come in, they want to have the latest code. And then when they come back from lunch, they want to have the latest code. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up two triggers to handle this. So we what we want to do is we want to deploy the latest release and we want to go from development up to QA and we don't necessarily need to redeploy. Uh, we, if, it's, if the latest release is already up in QA, there's no reason to redeploy and cause an outage or anything along those lines. So let's go ahead and let's schedule this to be, you know, let's, we don't really need it to run on Saturday and Sunday. That doesn't make any sense. And I'm located in the central time zone, so I'm going to be that, that guy who makes everyone have to bend to my will. <laughs> and so we want to have this run once and we want to run this at say 7 a.m. Just in case you know something takes a little bit longer than we expect and maybe someone shows up a little early that day. 
So let's go ahead and let's save this. And so what this is going to be doing is we are every weekday at 7 a.m. Central Time, we're going to go ahead and promote from dev up to QA. Awesome. Now the other scenario we want to handle is lunchtime. So let's go ahead and let's do another scheduled trigger. And let's going to say promote to QA lunchtime. If I could spell. Up to QA from dev every week day at lunch. Around lunchtime. During lunchtime. It's not around. It's a trigger. It's going to go ahead and it's going to... I have to tell it exactly what I want it to run. So again, we want to go from dev to QA and we do not want to redeploy and we want this to be daily and there's no reason again to have this run on Saturday or Sunday and let's go ahead and let's trigger this up to go to central time. Now why don't we go ahead and let's just let's just show what happens and so what I want to do is I want to run this every I'm going to have this run every minute uh, for right now so you can see what this looks like in action. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this back before we end this video but again I just want to show you what this is going to look like. So, um, so we should expect to see in about in, in a few minutes that trigger automatically get processed and it's going to automatically promote up to QA for us. And again, the idea behind this is just let's let's let the system do what we want it to do. Now you might be asking yourself while we're waiting, why not uh, you know, again, why not just set up the system to automatically promote after uh, you know assuming that all the tests work again, we want to make sure that everything is fairly sta uh, fairly stable for our QA folks. Again, just to make sure that, again, when they're running their tests, they don't have the rug out pulled out from under them. Um, some automated testing frameworks, they really don't like it when you go ahead and you just uh, change the underlying API. Or, you know, you might push something up to QA that's causing a bug that's preventing other tests from, uh, from happening. Oh, excuse me, that would prevent other tests from passing unexpectedly. Like five minutes ago, all the tests were passing, and then you know, five minutes later, after something new gets pushed up to QA, then those tests would fail. So let's just make sure that the scheduled process for carrying scheduled triggers should run. Okay. And it has started a promotion. Awesome. So it has gone ahead and done that. It should finish processing after a few seconds. So we're going to notify the developers of the status and we're going to send, we did not have a failure, so happy days. But the other thing to make note of is because we are processing this every minute, um, we should see this, we should see that task get processed again. But the big thing to kind of make note of is that it's not going to do anything this time around because there is no release to get pushed up there and so what that's what we're gonna see task is not yet started apparently I clicked on that a little bit too fast <laughs> um, so this should finish processing in just a few seconds um, but we should see nothing basically get processed at this particular point in time it's gonna say skipping deployment of release from deployment to QA for the project Trident release is already in QA and it's configured not to redeploy. So this is exactly what we want. We only want to push up to QA if there's a new change to occur. So let's go back and let's just update our trigger so we're not doing it every freaking minute. Um, and we want to run this once and we want to run this at 12 p.m. Oops, let's try that again. Okay, there we go. So Again, this is going to run at lunchtime, and we so what we have is we have two triggers: run one that runs at 7 a.m. in the morning, and the other one that runs around lunchtime. So the QA folks, when they get in for the day, they have the latest and greatest code to test, and then when they go away for lunch, when they come back, they're going to have the latest and greatest code to test for the afternoons. So this satisfies both those requirements, and uh, yeah, that's all for today. Uh, 
and hopefully you, you, it was valuable for you. It was a pretty simple setup to do, but again, I wanted to spend a little bit more time explaining the use case because I, I do think it is a rather an interesting use case because it kind of reflects a little bit more of the real world usage and some of the problems that we can kind of see, especially within the teams, uh, if they have QA embedded in there and they want to make sure that you know we make everyone happy and it's working for everyone. So this is just a small little quality of life change that we can make and uh, hopefully helps everyone out. So thank you very much, and I will see you next time.